Hi guys, it's another beautiful day, so I've come out on my walk and it's day two of my juice fast, so day two of drinking orange juice, freshly squeezed, um, and just having uh, water as and when I, I want it. And um, I've just really been called to share something that occurred last night. Yesterday was great, I had a really good day, um, just the same amount of energy. I was expecting all kinds of kind of detox symptoms and they haven't arrived yet, but you know, it will be what it will be. But then last night came and night time is always my darkest time for, you know, my shadow stuff to come up, myself to get triggered, things like that. And I woke up and I was feeling sick and I really couldn't face uh, eating another orange or looking at another orange uh, having drunk about, I don't know, four litres or something yesterday. And uh, these thoughts were racing, literally racing through my mind like super, super fast. And it was like, you know, clouds rushing across the sky but like speeded up. And it really took me back to the point after I had recovered from being paralysed and I was having severe panic attacks, major anxiety, um, I was um, basically um, trapped within my home, I had to work really hard to kind of push beyond my comfort zone which had literally become my bedroom. And I, it took me straight back to that point and I would have thought that I would have felt the level of anxiety and everything that I felt because I felt out of control, my head felt out of control and um, you know these thoughts were just rushing through and they, they all had a generally negative slant. However, however, I was aware that there was another aspect of myself observing these rushing thoughts, rushing, rushing through my mind and on the one hand, I was thinking, oh my goodness, you know, it's, it, I'm straight back where I was and I'm out of control, I can't control my head and I must get into control. And then the other aspect of me was observing this and was thinking, wow, this is incredible. How fast am I thinking things? This is amazing. And wouldn't it be absolutely fantastic if I functioned at this level of speed all the time. You know, how much would I be able to get done? How creative could I be? And I found myself in this situation where I was kind of aware of these two aspects of myself, thinking completely opposite, seeing it, seeing the same situation from completely opposite perspectives and, and sharing their insight into it. And it made me realize that when I was in my panic attacks, and that was the only voice that I was aware of. That was the only perspective that I had, that it was, it was something bad, it was something that I had to control or stop or judge. That was my truth because it was the only perspective that I had. But I found myself last night laid there, literally in exactly the same situation, aware of two completely different perspectives and realizing that I'm the observer, you know, not, not just from a cognitive perspective, because, you know, a lot of us are aware of that. We're the, the observer of our thoughts and emotions. We're not, you know, we're not the thoughts and the emotions themselves. So I was in that observer state, but I was aware that there was two aspects of myself with a completely different perspective on this. And therefore, we carry multiple truths in any given moment. So there is not this one big truth that we're holding in any moment. We can see, we are multidimensional beings and we can see things from varying perspectives. And it's what we choose to connect and attach to that will affect an impact on our experience. So I was laid there in what would have been, had I been back in, you know, 1996, yeah, a very challenging experience but I was having an interesting experience because I was neutral and I was just enjoying the fact that there was these two aspects of me sh you know sharing with themselves and with me 
these completely different perspectives. And I kind of looked at the other perspective and thought, yeah, do you know what? This would be amazing if we were able to kind of function at this level of speed, which of course we are. Because the only limitation to our ability to do anything is our perception. If we perceive that we are only human and we can only do this and only do that and time is linear and this and that are the other truth, well then that's what we're locked into. But if we allow ourselves to expand beyond that as the only truth and accept that actually there's other aspects of us which have completely different truths, that we allow ourselves to expand beyond those limitations that we've placed upon ourselves and that we've had placed upon us through the teachings and um, you know and you know I don't judge any of the people who've taught me in my lifetime because they didn't know any different but you know parents society you know school and everything like that so I it was really interesting and it was such a beautiful reflection of the fact that we are multi-dimensional we do hold many different aspects of ourselves and what we choose to attach to is what we'll experience. My experience last night was actually quite profound and quite beautiful because I was more attached to the isn't this amazing perspective rather than the oh my god I've got to control my racing thoughts and you know yes I did feel sick and you know yes my I had discomfort in my stomach but I again I wasn't catastrophizing it I wasn't diving into the oh my goodness I've got to do something about this it was just well this is just what it is it's part of the detox progress that program you know it's it's fine you know and actually it wasn't that bad and you know if I wake up tomorrow and I can't face another orange well then I might go and get some apples or pears you know I'll see what I feel now obviously my physical body did need self-care so I dealt with that and when I did I was able to get back to sleep and then I woke up this morning and I felt great I felt great I was looking forward to my orange juice and I have my my lunchtime <laughs> lunchtime orange juice which I've infused with love health and balance and I feel good I feel really good um, so I'm interested to see what comes up tonight because that does seem to be the the quiet time for me when when things do come into my awareness but uh yeah really good really good day so allow yourself to realize that even if there is only one voice playing in your mind at any given time it is only one perspective and it may be the perspective that you've dialed into and you're really used to tuning into and listening to. It's like a favorite radio station. However, there are other radio stations within you. There are other perspectives, other frequencies, other dimensions, other harmonics. And when you allow yourself the knowing of that, you can choose to dial the volume down on the very loud one that may be playing in your mind and choose to be open, if not hear, see, uh, receive in some way a different aspect of you with a different perspective that can help you in broadening, widening and expanding beyond the limitations that you're currently experiencing in your life. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. So much love to you. I hope everybody's day is blessed and joy filled and I hope you each of you had a, a little bit of sunshine um, I always take sunshine in the English winters as an absolute blessing and so I get out in it as much as I can and try and earth on the ground even though it is cold as much as possible so so much love to you and have a great rest of your days take care bye